This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. <laughs> Her office is positioned quite near the school building's front entrance. Okay, she's got to be a teacher then. The furniture is nicely arranged, based around an old-fashioned desk and chair. Ooh, I like those couches look so comfy! In contrast to the incongruity of the building's external appearance, the room is a textbook example of the old-fashioned principal's office. Uh, Nick, it's from the high school musical Bad Whip reading, not the actual movie. <laughs> I sit on the genuine leather sofa that's one of the room's more prominent furnishings. After waiting for me to settle myself, she lowers herself into the seat across from me. Oh, she's the principal, wow. Okay, hang on. How do you pronounce that name? Tachibana Chizuri. You have got to be the youngest principal ever. Either that or either that or just anime people don't age at all. I guess Sanai from Clonad did not age at all, so. On a practical level, nice to meet you might be the better option. What's up with that weird smile? <laughs> With a slight amused smile, Principal Tachibana takes out a pamphlet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know you already know about this school, but the the person playing this doesn't, so let's just give all the details out. Thank you. She flips past a couple pages off the brochure. I hadn't noticed, but her fingernails are lightly polished. Okay, well, thus far, Principal is best girl. Like, by far. Granted, I haven't, like, met any of the others, but... Although, if we are in high school, Principal ain't gonna be an option. The Principal's talk shifts to more detailed matters. The East Bay Beach Express is an enormous corporate group with its hands in real estate and large-scale retail, but its core business is the management of the rail line connecting Tokyo and the Haneda Airport. The EBE's management is shouldered by the Sakaki family, and it seems plausible that this Sakaki a Academy Corporation is also administered by them directly. But that's only a guess based on circumstantial evidence. <laughs> World's youngest principal hope Mr. Stewart isn't around. Oh man, if Mr. Stewart is in this game, that'll be legendary. <laughs> but also, I don't think... That I don't think he will be making an appearance. Also, he was just a teacher, not the principal. There's a lack of public information on this secretive corporation's activities. The very existence of this academy isn't well known. Ooh, how secretive. I didn't gain anything that could be called definitive proof for my investigation so far. Second year? Really? <laughs> we definitely looked like we were a senior. What do you mean by, I'm free to decide my own course, like what classes I take? That would be pretty cool. Her fingers come to a stop, bringing her hands gently together. The principal raises her gaze from the pamphlet and meets my eyes. Yeah, I was wondering if the, the spiral square at the bottom was basically an indication of the, the person is still talking, but no, it's literally just saying, hey buddy, click. I have a few questions. First, today is a weekday, but there was barely anyone on the school grounds. What's going on? They're probably all in class! What?! That doesn't make any sense! Why would there be, like, a brand new school built with this beautiful, like, three-story building and grounds if there are only six people here? That doesn't make any sense. Only six?! Mm-hmm. Well, there's us and the two girls who are running around. That means they're free we haven't met. The elite few. Eh? <laughs> We're all super geniuses. That include our friends of the Cicada just now? Mochiro. Question two. Where am I living from today on? This is Bullworth. Bullworth with only six students. They, they got rid of all the bullies in Bullworth, so now there's only six people left. <laughs> a dormitory, is it? Big old school, only six students, it's a dating sim after all. I'm actually not sure if it is. It probably is. I just know it's a visual novel. In that case, not a problem. Before we finish, one last theme. This is an action dating sim. All right, well, thanks for answering that, Nick. <laughs> 
for this last question only, I stared directly into her eyes. I need to confirm the principal's intentions in bringing me here. After all is said and done, is this a normal school? <laughs> the principal closes her mouth. After a moment of silence, she opens it again. <laughs> you didn't answer right away. You had to think about it first, didn't you? <laughs> a gentle smile. I'm convinced that she isn't lying to me to further some hidden self-interest. I don't know, that smile looks pretty sneaky right there. You, you all agree, like, that looks like the smile of like, Of course, I'm definitely not hiding something. <laughs> <laughs> Action dating some Marty, so... So Marty, the reason I found out about this game was there's a Doki Doki Literature Club mod that's like an homage to this game called Fruits of the Literature Club. There is a lot of action and violence in that. So, I'm guessing it's going to be the same with this. The principal slowly stands up and walks to the window side. The athletic grounds are visible from the window. Why are all the athletic grounds just sand pits? <laughs> Although resembling those of a normal school, the grounds are skirted by an improbably high wall. Well, we'll change that when we hit a home run. <laughs> Tap the button like in Metal Gear to get away from bugs. <laughs> I, 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 there might be quick time events, I don't know. The mere handful of students, the bizarrely extravagant facilities, the on-campus dormitory, the high wall surrounding it all, they clearly indicate abnormality. I guess you're right. The principal turns to face me. Uh, I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> also, do we have a refrigerator? Because I don't want my Girl Scout cookies getting stale. Understood. Yeah. With a nod, I rise to my feet. On the grounds outside, a gust of salty sea air kicks up a cloud of sand. What was the <laughs> Okay, that was literally just- that was literally just thrown into the game to be like, Look, we can animate sand flying up in the air! <laughs> this is the student door, alright. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, man! Bath, toilet, kitchen. That's all you need. Oh, oh wait, do we have like a bed though? No! <laughs> The cicada pair from earlier don't seem to be around. I'm not gonna remember that. That Komina guy is a student here too? Ten bucks! Ten bucks says! That we're gonna be the only guy in the school. I almost guarantee you that. <laughs> you thought that your room wasn't equipped with its own toilet and you were getting very concerned. Yeah, having your own toilet in a dorm room is kind of important. So, you don't have a minute grasp on the movements of the students, I see. <laughs> oh, that's all. Merely, is it? That is really bad posture, Principal. You're literally angled at like 45 degrees back and 45 degrees to the side. That, that's not- you literally look like you're about to fall over like a bowling pin. The Principal walks toward the interior of the building. Left there by myself, I stare vacantly up at the ceiling. Soon I've unconsciously fallen into my habit of counting the number of visible sprinklers, then roughly estimating the scale of the building. You know, as you do! <laughs> Also, this is a nice dorm room. Look at that couch! <laughs> Calculating the time needed to gain control of the front entrance and ascertaining the location of the emergency exits. Knowing the emergency exits is good. But, like, the rest of this, this kind of seems kind of weird, Yuji. Hmm. Not that many support pillars, are there? Guess that's why the ceiling is a bit low. Uh, no. uh what was that sound effect? Uh, no. Having grown absorbed in analyzing the building, I don't even notice the tug at my sleeve. Oh, hi there! Why? Okay. Uh, let's see. 
You got blue eyes. Why are you dressed like a maid? This doesn't. This seems kind of weird. Also, she's apparently a lot shorter than us because we're looking down on her. She's got a cute design, though. Until the final excuse me of many catch finally catches my ear. Hmm? I drop my gaze in the direction of the voice and find a girl in hi housemaid clothes looking up at me. Not that she's of particularly diminutive height, except in comparison to a taller male like me. <laughs> Would anyone announce that? No one's going to admit that they're an intruder if you ask them point blank. You're a little odd, aren't you? The maid nods several times, slowly closing her eyes, and begins to repeat my words. You went from kind of weird to very weird pretty fast, Miss Maid. Flexible thinking isn't your strong suit, clearly. <laughs> no, never mind. So what does a maid want with me? I, well, I am suspicious. I just am supposed to be here. This would be the second time today that I've heard that pickup line. You're reminding me a little bit of, like, Fuko meets Kotomi. You're a lot tougher than you look, maid. Oh, you're Komina. Hey, what's up? At this point, having noticed our voices, the principal calls out to the girl. It seems this maid was Komina all along. Yep. I'm Kazumi Yuji. Good to meet you. <laughs> we got our own maid. I don't know if she's our maid, but she's like the maid of the dormitory, I'm guessing. I don't think you introduced yourself. <laughs> no need to look that surprised. Oh, Sachi. That's a lot easier to remember than Komina. At this time, it's nothing but the first name. Hmm. I had fought earlier with the t or, uh, with the other two, but you've certainly gathered some um, unique elites here. Which would mean that she's a student too. You barely look old enough to be in front of the blackboard, Principal. That's not really my point of confusion here. Our uniform creates certain preconceptions. For example, if I see a girl wearing bunny ears in a bar, I don't ask what she, <laughs> I don't ask what she's done with her Bible. You should. <laughs> Bible's for everyone. The point taken. Yuji. That's not an explanation. Maybe she likes... Maybe she likes, uh... Modesty. わかりました。えっと、私はクラスインを任されている関係でよく先生方のお手伝いや雑用をお願いされることが多いのですが、なんだかメイドさんみたいだねという話からOkay, maybe we're not the only guy here, because that seems like a guy would want her to dress like a maid for, um, reasons. Who said this to you? I'm gonna find him and teach him a lesson. Okay then. I see. You're, uh, a devoted one. That fallen bunny girl sister could learn a thing or two from you. What? <laughs> this is a very strange game already. I wasn't really intending that to be a compliment. But there's no point in telling her that. She's too <sighs> sweet. <laughs> no objections. She at the very least seems very sweet, so. 
まず1階から案内していきますね。Take it away, Sachi. Yeah, if you would. The maid slowly begins to walk, but quickly comes to a stop in front of the management room. <laughs> What's wrong? Stop dead, she's staring at me with an expression that clearly indicates that she has something to say. What's wrong? You need something? Come to think of it, you're right. Well, you can call me whatever you want. I don't know, she's gonna call us something really weird, isn't she? Okay, that's not as weird as what I thought she was gonna say. You, we've gotten pretty familiar all of a sudden. Sure. Anyway, I'll call you Sachi. Sachi. My bad. Would Sachiman be better? Her expression didn't change in the slightest, but her eyes at that moment she spoke those words had a strange forcefulness. That's so. Alright, Sachi. Best regards and all that? Hi. Judging from her smile, it seems she doesn't dislike being called Sachi. Nameplate seems to say it's the management room, though. What? I'm the last person here! Why do I have to do it? Oh, is it because it's like, uh, I don't really want to be the superintendent. Uh, we'll let the next person do it. No, we'll let the next person do it. And now I'm the final person. In other words, she wants me to play the prison guard. Well, at the very least, three out of the six students living in this dorm are females. It would probably be prudent to have a room as far as possible from theirs to avoid potential trouble. Hey, man, I like that. Mind if I take a look inside? I at least appreciate that she's dressing like a modest maid and not like a sexy maid. When I open the door with the key she hands me, a prominently placed set of kitchen and household goods catches my eye. They seem to be in good shape, and I can confirm with a glance that the room itself will be more than adequate living in, uh, more than adequate living environment given my needs. That's a nice little room. Cool, I'm gonna pull it every night, just like in Bullworth. Got it. She seems to have guessed my thoughts from the direction of my gaze. As a little test, I focus my eyes on a different point of interest, and she provides me with an explanation in the same way. Although she's a little off in some departments, she seems to be pretty sharp in other respects. I see. Looks like there won't be any problems. As I speak, I, twi I twist the faucet over the sink. Was someone using this room before I came? <laughs> no one's used it since the last superintendent, <laughs> when he had his accident. The water's pretty clear, considering. まあ、建物自体が新しいですし、風見さんがいらっしゃる前はこの部屋を倉庫代わりに使用することもあったので、その時に誰かが水道を使っていたのかもしれません。私も時々お掃除の時にバケツの水を汲むために使っていましたから。
ここが2階です。Okay, nominate is best. 基本的に部屋のみの構造となっていて、私以外の学生さんは全員この階に住んでいます。Which would mean two of these are vacant. はい、7号室と9号室は現在空き部屋になっています。Would you mind if I 3階はこの大浴場をはじめとした戦闘的な構造になっています。Um, the baths are segregated, right? 階段の反対側にはコインランドリーや物干しスペースもあるので、必要な時に利用してください。もし、洗濯自体が苦手なようでしたら、私に言っていただければ代行しますので。<笑> If you're too stupid to do your own laundry, I'd be happy to do it for you. Someone is probably dead in one of those rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Marty's already making the crazy theories. Wouldn't taking care of someone else's chores be a nuisance? Um, no. I think the purpose of school is to help make kids independent. Alright, l I'll keep that offer in mind. There's no reason to refuse outright when the offer is delivered with such an earnest smile. By the way, can we use this grand bathroom as we please? Hi. 清掃は専門の業者さんが定期的にやってくれているので、清掃中以外は24時間利用可能です。This, this, this isn't a bath for everyone, right? Like, there's, there's gonna be a guy's bath and a girl's bath, right? ただ、男湯と女湯が分かれているわけではないので、風見さんが入浴する際は、入り口にこの札をかけるようにしてください。Well, I'm just gonna be taking baths in my room then. As she speaks, she hands me a card that reads in use, male bathing. I feel like that could easily be like, oh, sweet, there's a male bathing. I want to go in now. Like, th there's a lock on the door, right? Please tell me there's a lock on the door. <laughs> uh, sure. I think I might take advantage of it pretty often. The view up here is pretty nice. So, this is it. Oh, great. Now it's going to be like, none of the girls can use the bath because Yuji is always using it. <laughs> oh, no. An ocean view, huh? Not bad.、Uh, you're going to have to leave. As she speaks, I notice Sachi's already holding a towel and a change of clothes in her head. You're pretty well prepared. Are you trying to get me to strip in front of you? That's not going to happen. I see. The fruit of your experience, is it? What's wrong? Well, I, I would be kind of weirded out if you did have clothes for me, if you'd stolen it from my bag. As if to demonstrate, female underwear slips out from among the clothes in Sachi's hand. Of course it does. Is this a declaration that you want to bathe together? What? Don't be creepy, dude. I really don't think there's anything to apologize for. Let's see. Can I ask about something other than the dorm? In that case, let's hear your free size, Asachi. Wow! I don't like this guy. I don't need to know that. At the moment, is there a specific man you're going out with? Wow! He's just making the moves on her right away! Your experience with men today? She's. She's like 15 or 16. She's a first year. Hmm. I know I'm the one who asked you those questions, but answering them so politely, would that also be because you're the class representative? This girl needs help. Yeah, he's a perv. <laughs> What an admirable devotion to the customer service. Okay, I'm convinced every dating sim protagonist is unlikable. I kind of liked him at the beginning, though. Nothing comes to mind. <laughs> you just gave the pervert your phone number. Got it. With a 
that note of farewell, Sachi bows like a genuine housemaid and t starts to turn away. Ah, Sachi. Hi. Thanks for the tour. I appreciate it. Hi. I feel bad for her. <laughs> she deserves better. Hmm. The class representatives these days seem to be a surprisingly tough-willed breed. After Sachi's tour ended, I took another look around the interior of the building on my own. By the time I returned to my room, the sun is already low in the sky and the light growing dim. Should probably put this stuff away before it gets dark. Opening my backpack, I pull out the contents and begin to put them away on the shelves I've been provided with. It's a real help that I've got a closet. Things I can leave in a visible place and things to be stowed away in the back. Maybe I'll have a rival? That would make things interesting. I'd be rooting for the rival unless he's even worse. Dividing my possessions between the two, the latter are clearly more numerous. Normal, huh? While looking over my mountain of luggage, I mutter in a self-deprecating tone. As I work, the sun sh sinks leisurely into the sea. Ooh, stars. 